You're so silly. <laughs> her laughter and spirit hasn't faded. It's still very present, but behind her smile is the tough truth. It's just um, hard to know that your child is going to die and there's nothing you can do about it. Four-year-old Tessa Bruner is the only child in Florida suffering from CLN2 Batten disease an extremely rare nervous system disorder. We noticed the speech delay at 18 months. The first sign something wasn't right. She progressively started having more symptoms. Muscle weakness, bumping into things, later vision problems, then seizures. She was misdiagnosed with epilepsy. It wasn't until she took a genetic test. About 18 months after the first symptoms appeared, her parents learned it was Batten disease. First thing I said was, you know, I'm going to lose my baby girl. An illness with a life expectancy of just 8 to 10 years. We obviously had dreams for her, and it's, it won't be a reality. Her reality now is intense infusion treatments. Every other week in Orlando, the only treatment available for Batten disease. It essentially helps slow down the progression of the symptoms. We're hopeful that it will stabilize her, and she won't get worse um, for a couple years at least, and we're praying for a cure to come about. So far, there is no known cure for Batten disease, but the Bruners are hopeful one day there will be. In the meantime, they want other parents to know about the importance of getting genetic testing early, the very moment something seems off. Insist for genetic testing, because if I would have caught this sooner, Tessa's outcome would probably be, be more positive. Um, the damage already done to her brain, even if a cure comes about, will never be repaired. Reporting in Valrico, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.